going on internet since the last video we've gotten a ton of parts um stuff if you've been following the instagram actually i think it's over here if you've been following the instagram you would have already known that we've already got at least one part so I told you guys i can't remember if it was the last video or the video before that um that now that the engine's together we need to start another round of money spending so that has begun and some things are extremely back ordered but we are still getting good leads on some equipment um so i've been buying where i can so first of which is we got ourselves 44 mil wastegate um and it's already it's loosely mounted in there and i mean the manifold's not even like it's not bolted to the car yet i've already dry mounted the turbo once just to play um these guys but uh we also got this is another uh sunroof privacy slider we've got a headliner a fender two door cards two a pillars and this this guy it's uh a intercooler i bought from summit racing uh it is a straight through we're gonna see if we can make that work if not then uh, i can always just go under it and come back not a big deal um down here, we've got a blow-off valve that matches the wastegate. This is VS Racing. Um, got it, again, from Summit. Uh, this comes with the flange. So the only thing that I don't have yet that I ordered is a ton of piping, and I actually forgot a couple pieces, but that's okay. Um, we gotta do more things before we even start playing with that. But we're getting everything kind of stocked together. The biggest problem we're gonna have coming for going forward is we're gonna have to get the motor in the car and that's a huge step to to just take everything out of that one and put it in this one um it's coming but we still gotta finish the engine but we got we got our uh our uh, oil cooler got our new oil cooler installed if that's not a like a shot for you know everyone i mean that thing looks beautiful not to brag or anything, but this thing looks beautiful. And uh, I'm so glad I've done everything I've done to it. But that's, we gotta get, we got a lot of work to do still to, to get this thing in the engine or in the engine bay of the car. But today we're not working on this. We're taking a break from that guy for one video. And instead we're gonna try and make the inside of the car look a little more sexy. This, back to this, this is the sunroof privacy cover of a 2002 Acura RSX. And as you can see, it's been painted with some less than stellar uh, painting techniques. It looks like somebody just painted it through a mirror roof. And uh, as you can see, it's kinda of, kind of got like this weird texture. I don't like it. And it's it's also kind of chipping. I believe this is uh, vinyl paint. Uh, it does come off with acetone uh, really easily. But so what I want to do is this is the stock fabric that's been painted. This is fleece, and it feels so freaking good. I can't help but want to touch the headliner. Um, but it looks great. I mean, there's a couple little spots where it's pulling like right there a little bit. And then over here, there's a, like, like even right here, it's kind of pulling up. But what I want to do is maybe pull this back and hit that again to make it sit right. Or we'll just say, screw that. But I need to get the material that matches. Like, that looks, <laughs> that's where uh, the, the, uh, the visor was. But I want to get the material that matches this for this so that it's all the same. So the idea of this is, so all this slip is is pressed metal, just like this one, but it's wrapped in fabric to let it slide, right? So the idea here is we'll keep this just as is and we'll pull it apart, hit it with some fabric paint. We'll, uh, we'll let it kind of be like this. And then this, I wanna wrap it in fabric paint or in the fabric that we're gonna get. But we got to get it out of this and this and all this so the thought process is to get the the card piece out of here or this like 
it's like a weird board, like a chipboard sort of thing. It's to separate it from the frame here, take the frame out, get it down to the board itself. If we can, remove the, the old fabric and uh, wrap it with the new stuff. So that's, that's, that's the thought here. We were gonna try this last night. Went to Home Depot to go get some Super 77. They were out. So now we gotta go across town to go pick up some Super 77. And while we're out, we're gonna stop at the PO box and go get a part for the truck and a, oh, and the fabric, obviously, duh. All right, so we didn't have to go to two different places, but we did go to Walmart and get Super 77 and some of this uh, pre-cut fleece. Um, we're gonna just kind of, this stuff's a little bit coarser than fleece, but it's really close. It's really close, like you can't, can't even tell. So I'm pretty sure this is fleece. It feels like fleece, it's just a little bit rougher than this. So this is gonna work pretty freaking good. So, uh, now we're gonna try and tear apart this, uh, this cover. If I screw this up be a learning experience and then we can do it right or better next time. So for now, I guess let's, uh, let's just tear this thing apart. All right, so now we got this piece separate from the actual backing. This just kind of goes over that. That bolts to the backside here, or the, it just kind of goes on in this, and then these kind of clamp on the edges. We're going to wrap this side with our fleece material and that should give us an OE style look without paint or anything crazy and make it look good. This, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a quick shoot of paint just to, uh, just to make it look better. Same with the, the backing bracket as well. These are gonna get shot with fabric paint to make them black. Yeah, so we'll get to, get to painting. Uh, those and we gotta go get fabric paint because I didn't get that while I was out.
I think I did, outdid myself. That looks a million times better than this in your car. I'm honestly surprised it came out that good. Um, <laughs> it kind of looks, it looks OEM fresh, other than the fact that it's fleece, but you know. Now, we're gonna pull the car in, we're gonna put it in. Cause fresh interior needs, needs to be shown off. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything, but. Black pillars. Black. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, the little visor clips still need to be painted. The visors need to still go in, which we're working on that. Um, yeah. And then you get your slider. And it's a little th on the thick side. But, uh, it'll be fine. I just have to open it before I open the sunroof. Otherwise, I'll start, you know, hurting the, the motor. That's good. I mean, it's black. Black, black, black. We'll see what it looks like in the daytime tomorrow. But, um, that's going to do it for, for this video. Um, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.